On this World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, I would like to address the conditions that make people, especially those already vulnerable among us, susceptible to trafficking. Poverty, limited education, gendered and social norms, discrimination, exclusion, and other vulnerabilities magnify the risks of human trafficking. When trafficked, victims already burdened by a long history of abuse and exploitation endure for the isolation, abuse, denial of rights, and societal stigma. We need to unite as a whole of society and whole of government to end human trafficking. Together we can stop this horrible crime. Trafficking in persons is not only a serious and organized crime, but it's also a grave violation of human rights. Often victims of trafficking are subject to cruel and degrading treatment. They lose their liberty, their security, and sometimes their lives. Unfortunately, in Timor-Leste, the numbers of victims of trafficking continue to rise. Far too often now do we hear of stories of youth who migrate overseas in search of better economic opportunities, but instead find themselves exploited, vulnerable, and victims of trafficking. IOM in Timor-Leste works closely with law enforcement as well as justice institutions to prevent, protect, and prosecute trafficking in persons. As we commemorate the World Day Against Trafficking in Persons, we must all prioritize this issue and start working together in order to address this heinous crime. There is a lot more that the government, civil society organizations, international partners, and the communities themselves can do together in order to prioritize trafficking in persons and address this issue. Hamutuk itabele hapara trafiku umanu. Trafficking preys disproportionately on women and girls and is driven by the exploitation of specific vulnerabilities and socioeconomic challenges and existing inequalities. We must recognize this and respond in ways that target specific challenges that are faced by women and girls, that push them into vulnerability and increases the risk for trafficking. Through collective efforts with our sister agencies in the UN, we can take action, raise awareness, and improve prevention and response, while addressing and putting in place protection mechanisms to support and facilitate community-led change. UN Women has an unwavering commitment to this cause, to building a safer society, free from gender-based violence and trafficking where we empower and support women and girls and their leadership in this fight. In Timor-Leste, socioeconomic challenges and inequalities, particularly in agriculture sector and access to food, are among the risks we are facing. FAO and IOM collaborate closely for empowering communities to diversify livelihoods and reducing the effects of cross-border crime and human trafficking. Let us further join our hands to take concrete action Together, we can find solutions to human trafficking and build resilient food systems, leaving no one behind. End human trafficking. Trafficking of children is a violation of children's rights, a practice which robs children of their childhood and exposes them to heightened levels of violence, exploitation, abuse, and suffering. Millions of children are trafficked worldwide every year. It is therefore our collective responsibility to condemn child trafficking in all its forms and work tirelessly to protect children from this crime and to ensure that their safety, dignity, and fundamental human rights are upheld. The protection of children is a universal imperative, and UNICEF continues to work with the government of Timor-Leste to strengthen appropriate legislative, administrative, social, and educational policies and systems which help to reduce the vulnerabilities that make children susceptible to trafficking. The United Nations stands with and will continue its support to the government and people of Timor-Leste to not only end human trafficking, but in ensuring, as it is the hope of every Timorese, a country of abiding hope, justice, and where every individual is free from exploitation and their dignity is upheld.